Um, hi guys, so basically, um, I was meant to make a second video, but um, I've been, I've had like a, I'm gonna try and talk loud because I'm in the car and I don't want you guys to hear the engine. But basically, I was just gonna make a second video, but um, I had so so I've had like a really busy week because um, I had like I had I pl had plans to like film like the fun like you see because the meme was like fun i like plans to go film the video for that so that's why like i've been um i haven't done the video and i've been getting really home late really like really late from work and stuff but basically i'm gonna just like try and like talk while i drive and address like everything right in one video so basically guys um a lot of you let me start with the apology thing a lot of you weren't happy with my apology you don't think it was the best apology in the world so if i'm not looking i'm looking i'm trying to sort out my directions because there's traffic you don't think it was the best apology in the world do i agree with you absolutely absolutely i hold my hands up and you're absolutely right my apology wasn't the the best apology in the world no not at all um i feel like what happened was um, I did apologize to Adiola and Nella, yes, but then I went on a, t a like a rant. Um, basically, guys, I feel like um, the the point of the video and the point of the apology got lost in me being a little bit like upset with Renee. Now, let me first say the things that I um think that i did wrong to renee before i get into what i think she did wrong to me um renee is going through a lot right now her leg is giving her problems her leg is probably making her down and sad and as a human being we should all have empathy for people's pain so um what do you call it and also this is another thing that i thought about but this is only after the video was out that i thought about it renee has also recently lost her friend um you know like she lost um, her friend nicole so like renee's going for a lot but you have to imagine you have to imagine this like when i play when i was playing the game i didn't think all of all of that like that's just genuinely the truth i just literally picked names i think gade said to, said made a comment that why didn't i put oluwa blanco on it and yasmin i haven't got a problem putting them in like i can put them in another video but i would put i definitely would put oluwa blanco but when you guys say why didn't i put yasmin in i said i was thinking of the biggest youtubers that, that so that that's actually the reason so i went for the biggest youtubers biggest artists i just thought of who's bait so that's that's actually the answer if you want that now i feel like where i fucked up right was um yeah so she's going for a lot her leg her, she lost her friend and then the game is very um obviously like the game is like you know a corn game you 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 like corn people a little bit like you smash your past them and you usually you're supposed to give a reason like i don't know like me for instance people have passed me and said like you know like i'm annoying or i'm just a short oompa loompa like people have made fun of me you know i've laughed it off but with renee like i feel like while she, while she's going through something which is to do with her physical appearance like her surgery it was insensitive to even put her in the game forget even just saying pass and smack she shouldn't have been in the game at all like that was insensitive of me because of what she's going through right now like like i just should have never included her name like that was just on my part hands hands i put my hands up that was so fucked up like i i didn't even think about it that, that's that's just the honest truth i didn't think about it i just did it so like i really regret even even just including her name like if i could take anyone's name out if i could go back in time like even though i know like there are people in there that have huge fan bases it would actually be um renee because to be honest like um her, her leg is probably really traumatic and if i triggered her pain yeah i do feel guilty i do feel bad about it do you understand but what happened is when i came and i wanted to apologize what happened was the reason like 
my apology was shit is because I kind of like I was upset with how she started threatening to slap me because I kind of felt like she could have she could have asked me like why go on and why have you done this rather than just assuming that I'm a bitch like it was negligent on my part to leave anything on her surgery in there some people said why don't you defend her when they were um, chatting shit about her because I was never gonna leave none of that in there like all that when they were talking about her surgery I was always in the room thinking nah this definitely ain't going in the video this is too far oh I definitely always thought that so um um basically Renee was never gonna see it is what I'm trying to say she was never supposed to see any of that so I felt I, I felt bad because I I her surgery has been a traumatic experience and then I triggered that in it so I did feel bad in it like but obviously I, I have feelings so like when she started threatening me like I just got like mad like why are you like I just I just saw red type of thing like oh like why is she saying she's gonna slap me and that's why like I, I couldn't really it, it, instead of it being about the video it became about Renee saying she's gonna slap me if, if you hear what I'm saying like it became about her um, talking to, about talking like that way about me and especially because I feel like she's been mean about about me in the past like that's that's it like I just kind of thought like no Renee like allow it like you're always like being horrible to about me so or to me so that's what it became about instead of just like seeing it for what it was in it but um, I felt really bad when I so basically after the video came out I remembered that she'd lost her friend in it and I felt really bad because I just thought, I forgot I forgot that she lost her friend kind of thing like so maybe right now she's like maybe right now she's like um like yeah like she's like really really in a, in a bad like bad place in it so I forgot like it wasn't on purpose give me and then like I want to like now touch on the next thing so like I've gone I have um, been on the internet before and been like gone viral like one of the most traumatic ones was when I went viral for my nudes innit and what happens with the nudes is with the nudes is like at first it was just about my one my first nude but then there was a rumor about my second but it wasn't me like the second one wasn't me but everyone was just like going with it because I was the topic of discussion so now what's happened is after I've done that now like other things have started to surface like people are it's just never ending it's like been the worst week so now it's like they've gone on to like this asian thing and last night i saw that it had a million views bro a million views on me doing like a very very rude asian accent so i did this asian challenge yeah on my youtube yeah no sorry not asian challenge i did a, 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 a accent challenge in general on my youtube and um, i'm very bad at accents and every time i do a bad accent people laugh that's how it's always been so when I typed an accent challenge on YouTube one day, I saw loads and loads of accents come up. And basically, when you the ones that were good at the accents weren't as funny. The ones that were really bad at the accents, people were lo loving it in it. And I'm really bad at accents, so I thought, let me do an accent challenge because I'm so bad at accents. So um, I did it, and I was like, I did a, a really bad Jamaican accent. I did a really bad American. I just did bad accents in general, yeah. But then obviously the Asian community um, are the most offended because um, obviously they've gone through a lot, and they and someone was explaining to me, and a, like an Asian person was explaining to me, like on a calm thing, you know, like not even on an aggressive thing. He just was saying to me like, um, being racist to Asians has become a very, it's like a, it's been normalized in it especially since like covid so like um like basically like you need to have more sympathy what why would i go sorry why would i go this way okay then yeah you need to have more sympathy for um for for, for them kind of thing because um, you can't really do that because people are just bare racist to them now. So I was like, oh, fair enough. And I didn't think of that. But when I saw it had a million views, like, I just, like, it just looked so bad. Like, and it only, they only took out, obviously, the Asian bit. So I felt like, fam, like, I was literally just trying to pay accent challenge. Like, I'm sorry, innit? And I do agree that my, the way I did it was offensive. But um, because it wasn't targeted to one group, I was just being really dumb about everybody. I thought, like, people wouldn't take the piss. 
like I, I didn't, basically I didn't think anyone would be, be upset with me I've heard I've, I've spoken to some people and some people have said to me like oh Lani you wanted to go viral you knew what you was doing um no I did I didn't want to go viral actually and I didn't know what I was doing I like played smash or pass bro did I think it was going to be controversial mm, not really you know because I've done controversial stuff on my channel before I thought I was going to get like um I thought I was going to get like um 15,000 views if that and um that would be the end of it I, I didn't think it was going to be controversial at all you know I, I didn't think my smash up past game I, I didn't like I get an average of 50,000 views on YouTube so that's what I thought it would be and then that would be the end of it I even just rushed out content because I hadn't posted in a while and because um what's the reason I rushed out content I have basically behind the scenes I was working on loads of other things in it so I thought I've been negligent on YouTube so let me let me make something quickly for my supporters and that yeah so that's why I made the um the the smash or pass game so i just want to sincerely apologize to the asian community because um i can't believe like so many of you are upset with me like i'm not racist like i'm really sorry like i just did it um it was just bad i have a shit sense of humor i suppose and i'm sorry for that and i'm never ever going to do an accent challenge ever again i'm really bad at accents and because I've been, I wouldn't have been praised, but because people always um, respond positively to my shit accents, like they fall on the floor laughing because my accents are so shit. Like I, it's something that I've just done all my life. Like I just make, I just do loads of accents all the time. Like not just Asian, like in general, like bare. Like my Australian accent is awful. I think my Australian accent is the worst. Um, so yeah, I didn't mean any malice by it and I'm really sorry. But, um, what else can I say guys um, um, I feel like okay yeah let me let me let me touch on something really quickly yeah so I'm not a nasty person right but um, um so basically, yeah, the reason I felt, I felt bad for the Renee thing, yeah, is because it was about trauma. So like her thing is traumatic for her and then she saw people making fun of it. And I can, I, I can actually understand where she's coming from. That's why I actually genuinely, after I calmed down, like, I actually felt bad because I've been through trauma, traumatic things in it. So if someone was making fun of me for my trauma, I wouldn't like it like so for, for instance here yeah, you lot think like what my man did to me is like light yeah um and then I, I saw like bare dumb comments like I don't know like she can't even prove it I can't prove what I can't prove what I've got police reports so I can't prove what what can I what can I what can I prove I've got police reports. I've got lawyer. I've got lawyer um, emails. What can I prove? So that was really traumatic for me, in it, and I didn't want it to come out of the internet the way it did. Um, I didn't want people to be talking about, it, especially at, at the time they did, in it. I was really, really like upset that it came out the way it did especially when i was trending for bad stuff and then obviously because everybody hates me like no one obviously would have any sympathy for the fact that of, for, for what happened to me in it obviously like i'm not gonna even talk about what happened but all i want to say is if i ever address it in a real way it's not necessarily for me because with all due respect like fuck him it wouldn't be for me like fuck him like 
what he did to me was like proper evil and like I can't get over it as much as like people be like why can't I can't get over it imagine loving someone imagine being in love with someone and then they um they do they just do something to you that is They do something to you that has bailiffs knocking on your door for years. Constant letters, like it's a reminder all the time that love brought me here. So for me, like that trauma, it doesn't really go away in it. And then when you hear someone rapping in their music, um, bragging about success, but they, stepped on you to get there it's like it's hard in it so it's quite a traumatic thing for me in it so obviously when i saw people calling me yeah like she deserves it like i just felt like so, i felt awful like i felt like shit so like that's why i can i can kind of understand renee because renee's pain with her leg is traumatic for her so when she saw the video and she thought like we were trying to um we were just laughing at her i understand why she was upset i just like wish she didn't threaten me and i wish she spoke to me because if she spoke to me and explained that how can you allow someone to make fun of my leg you know i've been through la 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 you know what i would have just removed the video that's why the video hasn't been deleted because i was so upset with renee i feel like the whole video is negative vibes the whole video this whole this whole period and in the thing is is all negative i'm gonna leave the other dumb apology up because of the meme because people like bad boy of information so i'm gonna leave that up but i'm gonna delete the smash or pass game i don't want to constantly go on my youtube and be re reminded of this period of my life get me because it's been so bad like i've been f like thinking nah i should just quit youtube like because no one likes me no one understands my personality get me like i just want to say like renee like i'm sorry get me like will we ever be cool probably not because i just think it's gone too far but it i would never want to make fun of your trauma fam i get it bro i have trauma too get me like i went everyone's calling me for my trauma get me like it hurts like it hurts get me because no one is like i'm fucked up guys like i don't date my, my audience knows this i don't date like i don't I don't fuck niggas like I can't even date like fuck men like I hate men like because of what this man did to me do you understand like do you you not don't know like but when this happened like for the first month yeah I I had to sleep my mom lives in Africa my mom flew back the, the day I called my mom like basically having a breakdown my mom flew back to the UK and I slept in a bed with my mom bro for a month bro like my I slept in a bed with my mom like like i was so, i was fucking gone like i was fucking finished like i wanted to die like i slept in a bed with my mum for a month it was so traumatic and i always wanted to use my platform eventually when i had a, a, a big enough audience not necessarily i don't care about my man in it so it's not about him i don't even want to talk about him what i want to talk about is I want to save other naive people, girls and boys who are like me, who grow up on Disney, who fantasize about love. I want to teach them like, yo, the world isn't what it seems. Not everybody who seems like they are for you are for you. And don't give your, like, I just want to teach people. I just, I don't want another girl or a guy to go through what I went through. I don't that's actually the main thing if I could do it without talking about my man I probably I probably would because I don't really I don't really want his smoke I don't really want his supporters on me I don't really care about him in it like I just want people I want um, someone else to not go through what I went through that's that's kind of the bottom line like don't let don't let anybody break your heart like like break your heart and violate you like like that th that was my goal but like i 
I'm not even right now because I've like got caught so much. I'm not even strong enough to 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 express that message. Maybe there'll be a day where I can do that, but I feel like my life has been somewhat ruined. Like I said, I don't date. I can't connect with men. Like when I I find it hard to like people. Um, I've said on my channel before the last.